us here celebrating this high holy days. Come. Come. So I just want to go uh, Psalms 130, uh, 132, 13. And it just, it just teaches us more about the most I says, Zion is his rest. All right, forever. Zion is his rest forever. Who ever get it? Yeah. 132. Psalms 132 and 13. Psalms 132 and 13. For the most I have chosen Zion. He have desired for his habitation. Yeah, Zion. Okay. Now you've got to remember, Zion is a people and a place. Come. Come. It's the people, the 12 tribes of Israel, Yasha Allah, and it's a place. Come. Come. So, Moses has to be chose Zion for its habitation forever. So it's not only the Most High chose his chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel, but he chose Mount Zion, Zion, okay, Jerusalem, Israel, as his place of rest forever. So we have to understand that that's where the Most High dwell at. Okay? The Most High, there was other places the Most High dwell at when you read the history. And one, uh, one of them is Zion, one of them is the Garden of Eden. Another one is the Mount of Olives and Mount Sinai. Those were the four places the scriptures say in the history teaches at the Most High dwell at. Come. Come. But we know Zion is the tabernacle, the tabernacle of David. Come. Uh -huh. That's where the Most High dwell at. Up. This is my rest forever. He, here will I dwell, for I have desired it. Yeah. So is the Most High really in America? No. Most High, this is, Micah 2 and 10 says what? This is not your rest. It's talking about Babylon. Modern day Babylon is America. Scriptures say the Most High does not dwell there. He does not rest there. The Most High don't care about America. America's finished. He's punished. He's going to punish America. That's right. So the Most High is going to redeem a remnant of us, of all people out of America, and bring us to Zion. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the uh, nations say. The Edomites say, right? Esau says that, that he wants God to bless America. But you know, when he say God, he's talking about who? Oh, He's talking about the devil. He's That's talking about Satan. He's not talking about the Most High. Because you know the Most High says, love not the world, and neither anything is in the world. And if any man love the world, the love of the Most High is not with him. So the Most High hates everything about America. Okay? You think about it, what's in America, the Most High hate it. What's in amongst the other nations, the Most High hate it. So what does the Most High love? He said, Zion. His laws, his statutes, commandments. And the Most High says, Lord, that commandments is our rest, it is our wisdom and knowledge amongst the nations. So, so who's going to teach you that not to keep the commandments? When that is your wisdom. If you don't have the commandments, then you're dumb. You're stupid. That's what the Most High is saying. If you don't keep the commandments, you're stupid. So we got to begin to return back to the So the brothers were iterating, return back to the high holy days. Come back to the high holy days. And the Most High wants to return back to Zion. Now, I just want to say, um, uh, for all the brothers and sisters in Israelite camps, uh, the Masharad, Allah, okay, uh, you got the other Israelite camps that are keeping the Passover, and we want to say Shabbat Shalom to all those brothers and sisters that are keeping the Passover. Okay, son. Um, and, but this is, but we're here, we're in Mount Zion. Uh, it was, what, about four or five years ago, the first, at the first summit, with a brother, I'll say his name, then Dawah Dawa, Dawa, Dawa. And the brother Freeman, we say his name, uh, they came to the, with the knowledge concerning Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about it. I'm thinking Mount Zion is just the 12 tribe of Israel. I didn't know that, you know, the actual Mount Zion here. I mean, you know about it, but you don't know that the Mosiah wants us to begin to return right. and to begin to build up, okay, our faith in returning back to Mount Zion. Oh, so yeah. we didn't know that until these brothers came back to that first summit that we had in Washington, D.C., they show us concerning Mount Zion. That's when I learned about Hoshua, Mariel, and all the different brothers that are coming to Mount Zion. I knew nothing about it. And the brother said, I've been in the truth since 1984, but knew nothing about that. Mm -hmm. We knew about the brothers in Demona. We knew about that. We were, actually, we were taught not to go to Israel. We were taught not to go to Demona, not to deal with those brothers. We were taught that. Okay? And then the Mosai, about four or five years ago, showed us, yeah, you were taught that, but I got, I want to show you other things. Right. I want to show you that, you know, I want you to come to Zion. And I want you to begin to build back here in your, what, in your homeland, in your land that Mosiah gave up, gave the 12 tribes of Israel. And so this is what this is, brother. This is the beginning. All right? Now, yeah, this brother's here. Yeah. 
teach the mashiach here. We don't care who don't like it. We don't care about what other brothers program or what they have in mind. It's about the mashiach. Come? Come. And our job is to build up the mashiach. And uh, the, the, the Zion, the teachings of Zion and so forth, and to build it up and to rebuild uh, the history and the culture and the custom and the language. The language also. Everybody tell you don't, don't learn your Hebrew. What we're teaching you that is foolishness, okay? How do we know about the Hawashai? Where the language taught us the Hawashai. How do we know about the Mosai's name? Where the language taught us that. How do we know that you're Yasha Allah? Where the language taught us that, Hebrew, okay? And Abram was called Hebrew. Come? Come. All right? And the Mosai said, your name no more Abram is Abraham, and you are Abram who is Hebrew. Okay, how do we know about Eva? I bought Hebrew. How do we know? Because the language taught us. So I'm about to teach you, all nations got a language, all nations know who they are, what their language, what their custom are. So it's high time for us to realize that. And go ahead, read that, Acts 4 and 11. Acts 4 verse 11. This is a stone which was set and north of you, builders which have become the head of the corner. Who's the head? The Mashiach Yahushua. So if we don't uh, acknowledge the head and begin to acknowledge, now if you come with any other name, or some, some kind of, you know, some kind of something backwards, or some kind of backwards Hebrew and all that madness, you're off. Okay? You're off. And brothers, some brothers are doing that, and all these other names, you're off. Okay? Go ahead, up. Neither is there salvation in any other. There is no salvation in any other. So I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you have 2,000 people to your Passover. Okay? It's in Hamashiach Yahushua. Okay? I don't care if you think it's... The Passover is this day and that day or this day, but it's in Hamashiach Yahusha. Okay? And yeah, there was yeah, years ago we had we didn't have the right days, but we were searching. And the Most High has given us, He's given us it, it in stages. He gives us knowledge and wisdom in stages. That's why now we know about the first light, which we didn't before. We were people that observed the first light and observed the, the heavens when you read the scriptures. We observed it. All right? We looked up into the heavens and knew what time it was. Looked up into the heavens and knew what the stars and the sun and the moon represented. So you're going to tell me now you're going to go by a calendar and calculate the time? No, it doesn't work like that. So the Most High is showing us now, these days, with, with the knowledge of concerning the new moon, that we, what, search out for the first light. And that first light, that little crescent, shows us what? That it's, what, the beginning of the Kadash. The new moon. Where Kadash represents new moon and the month. Cut? Cut. All right. So the Most High is building us up in knowledge. So Zion also. The learning of Zion, the learning of the tabernacle of David. And we're right here close by it. And so the Most High is showing us now is that time for us to begin. And then that's why uh, through the Masharash Sha'ala, through the house of David, through the light of Zion, other brothers and other camps, that we're teaching Zion and we're teaching our people that should come there, like the brother said, to visit. If not, when you visit, you stay here. Because we're looking into that too. It's high time to leave America, brother. Leave the shadow. It's high time to leave the shadow. Okay? It's high time to leave. And every, brothers are leaving America. We got brothers that are in different areas now. Brothers are going to Turkey, brothers are in Mexico, brothers are in, in the islands, they're leaving. Okay? Because we know, like the brother said, the season and the time. Yahushua didn't give us a day, but we know we're close. We're not stupid. Yahushua gave us the time, the, the seasons, the things to look for. We know that we're close. Okay, so go ahead. I'll finish that. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So the Mashiach Yahushua is how we're going to be redeemed. Okay, and we're going to be redeemed here in Zion. How about that? Okay, the Most High is just going to uh, redeem a remnant from America and all the lands we were brought at, but he's going to bring us here, then purge out the rebels, bring us into the wilderness, and begin to redeem us here and teach us his law, statutes, and commandments, and, and, and bring us back into the covenant of the commandments that we broke. And a lot of us are not going to walk into that land. Some are going to be delivered, but not going to walk into Jerusalem, not going to walk into the land, the scripture says. 
Okay, just like when we came out of Egypt. All our forefathers died in the wilderness, right? Except for a couple of brothers. Caleb and Joshua. That was it. So the same thing's going to happen this time. Not everybody's going to make it to land. Even though the most I deliver you out of America. Remember that. Not everybody's going to walk in. Okay, some of our people are going to be examples in the wilderness. Okay, because they don't want to follow the law, statute, command. They don't want to go back to uh, Egypt or go back to the modern day Egypt, which is America. They don't want to go back there because they got what? Plasma TVs and they got houses, they got. Not the law. Yes. Yeah. Understand? <laughs> yeah, all that stuff. So, Yahweh Shai is, is that lamb. So, the brothers read in Exodus 12, come. And so, concerning the Passover, the Passover. But you've got to remember, you've got to relate everything to the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. So, that lamb that our people at the Mosai taught us, all right, to, to kill the lamb the 10th uh, day of the month and keep it up to the 14th day of the month, that lamb, that lamb was actually who? That's the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That blood of that lamb was actually who? The Mashiach Yahweh Okay? And also, that Passover, who, who was that, that death angel? The Mashiach Yahweh Come? Okay? That death angel's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back, brother. Okay? He's coming back. And so, as a brother iterated, he said, think about the Passover. Just think about the Passover. That death angel is coming back, brother. Brother, you about to find the old side. Yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to be inside the blood at the door. Yeah, wish I come back. You outside. You outside. Okay, <laughs> so, how about that? So, what do you think is going to happen to you? He'll you, you understand. He'll understand. Yeah. Okay. And, and don't you think there were Israelites that didn't put the blood on the two side posts in Egypt? Yeah, there were some. Uh, Solomon taught you that. When you read the wisdom of Solomon, he taught you that. There were some that didn't do it. Because they were stubborn. Just like the, uh, the most I told Moses, to tell people to look at the serpent. If they were going to get healed by the disease or whatever it was that was afflicting them, just, he said, uh, Moses, put the serpent up, and all you got to do is look at it. You know, the stubbornness got you killed in pride. So you didn't put the blood on the door, because what happened to you? Yahweh Shai killed you. Okay? Let's put it, let's, let's make it plain. It was the Mashiach that killed you. Okay? Same thing is going to happen here. Okay, uh, uh, Hebrews 11, 20, 23, right quick. And this is Moses in Egypt, okay? This is Moses and the Most High showing you what, how faithful Moses was in Egypt, and it's going to relate to us in these last days here, okay? Uh, Hebrews 11, 23. Start with that, and then we're going to go to 28. It's 11, 23, 28. He was 11 and 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. Who was Moses' parents? Amram and Yoshebed. Come? Huh? Amram and Yoshebed. His parents hid him. Did they keep, keep the, uh, king, the uh, king's commandment, Pharaoh's commandment? Said, Hell no. We ain't killing our baby. See, mm -hmm. faith. Right? Same thing, same type of faith you're going to have when the Antichrist come and say, if you don't bow down to me, I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. right. Now what are you going to do? Faith, brother. Okay? They had faith. And by faith, the Most High delivered Moses. Hey, good. You have told me there's a lot of the land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it helped that law. Because I, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> the laws the laws of the Most High usurp. Right? Mm -hmm. The Antichrist is law. Uh, okay? Or any constitution or whatever out here. Okay? Now, you obey the law of the land now so that you can get by and by day to day. Okay? But still, when the time comes, forget it about it, brother. Okay? Forget the, the, the laws, the least laws, laws. Begin to obey the most high's commandments. Okay? Come? Uh, uh, go ahead. I'm just going to say that too. The Marshall Yard Crown, we have uh, letters for those of you that, that have problems keeping silent right. for your job. Um, you know, uh, they're forcing to shave your beard. Right. Okay, if you need, if you need uh, exemption for your children getting immunization, we can supply you with that. We're not, you don't have to be from our camp, from our uh, congregation, you know, because we are a nation. Okay, we are a nation of priests, so uh, you can contact any of us. I'm the one that actually supplies.
five to eleven. Right. I'll take any one of my twelve young Sharala and we'll assist you. There's no reason to not keep the commandments from all side yeah. Okay, a, a couple of months ago, I think last year, there was a so-called Jew that won a lawsuit um, at um in the like PD. No, it was an auto zone. Some type of auto parts store. Mm -hmm. New Jersey won ten thousand dollars because they, they forced him to work on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now he's, he's not even not even Israel, not even a Jew. Okay, he's a so-called Jew, and he, he was awarded ten thousand dollars, and of course he got a job. Okay, but our people, we are free to walk on the ball side, knows my heart. We're in captivity. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of you when you go for your job and, and you go for international when are you available to work? And because you're desperate, well I work I work any day you need me to. Mm -hmm. You don't tell me that you're a Hebrew that you keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta put the ball size commandments first. So there's no reason that you should, you know, make an excuse to break these laws. Right. right. Okay, so we have we have the credentials, we have the seal. If you, if you need that letter, just contact the Masha or Yasharana, we will assist you. Right. But but you gotta use wisdom. We're not saying go out there and rob a bank. We're not saying go out there and break his his, his laws. Because you, you gotta remember the most I says live righteously even in a negative world. He said live righteously. So you gotta do what what uh you know it, the society that you're in, you got to go by whatever commandments they, they do. Because didn't Joseph do that? Didn't Daniel have to do that? Okay. But they they, they, was, they still did what? Kept the Mosai's commandments. Okay, come. All right. Go ahead. Up. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. And they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh. Called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. You know what did it say? Moses refused. Remember, Moses grew up as what? As like an Egyptian, huh? And but ultimately the spirit was on him so heavy that he refused to become the son of, of Pharaoh. Alright? Uh, Pharaoh's daughter. Refused. So the same thing. You gotta have the same mentality today. I'm not, I'm not. You know, you got to say in your mind, whatever uh, English name your parents gave you, whatever name, I'm not that, <coughs> I'm this. Mm. I'm Barak, I'm uh -huh. Kahan, I'm Mithaku, I'm Kwarta Zahala. Okay? And then in Isaiah, it tells you, you're going to take on what? When you come in the truth, you're going to take back on your what? Your so Hebrew name. name. Oh, you're going to subscribe this by, uh, by the name of Jacob and Yashala. Oh, right. yeah. That's what Moses did. He said, wait a minute, I'm a Hebrew, what the hell? And Moses was highly intelligent. Ah, okay, uh -huh. they knew they seen that at birth. Mm -hmm. Read the history. Moses took the, the crown and the king and, and, and took it off his head and standing right. there. As a baby, he did that. Mm -hmm. He's seen that uh, Pharaoh was what? The enemy. Mm -hmm. He's seen that. Okay? That's why the Pharaoh, before that Pharaoh uh, gave the proclamation to kill the children when they were just being born. Because he was trying to kill who? He was trying to kill Moses. Okay? He's trying to kill him the same way Hurrah tried to kill who? Yahweh Shai, as they, they were being born. Okay? So that same spirit goes from generation to generation. So what do you think the abortion is about? Mm. The abortion is the same thing. The modern day Pharaoh, which is uh, Esau, these presidents who made true the presidents, uh, uh, put the, into law what? The abortion rights act to kill who? The prophets. To try to kill the prophets <coughs> coming forth. That's what it's all about, brother. That's a stop. Okay? All right, go ahead, huh? But, but maybe he gave up, what, living a luxurious life? Exactly. Okay, how 